Brace for impact, Canon, Nikon, and Sony are unleashing their next flagship mirrorless revolutionaries. These photographic powerhouses will combine game-changing imaging tech with intelligent innovations to redefine creative boundaries. The Z63 is rumored to be a video powerhouse, capable of recording stunning 6K video at 60 frames per second. This translates to a resolution of 6016 by 3384 pixels, which is significantly higher than 4K, 3840 by 2160. The increased resolution of 6K allows for exceptional detail and clarity, making it ideal for large-scale productions, cropping flexibility, and future-proofing your footage. The 60 frames per second frame rate at 6K resolution is also a standout feature, enabling beautifully smooth slow-motion playback during editing. This can be especially useful for capturing fast-paced action or creating cinematic effects. Additionally, the Z63 may offer internal ProRes RAW recording, a professional codec developed by Apple. ProRes RAW captures maximum image data in a RAW video format, providing greater flexibility for color grading and post-production work compared to compressed formats like H.264 or H.265. Having ProRes RAW built-in could streamline the workflow by eliminating the need for external recorders, making it more convenient for run-and-gun shooting scenarios. The autofocus system is expected to receive a significant boost with a new, faster processor. Rumors suggest this could be the same powerful processor found in Nikon's flagship Z9 camera, which could lead to quicker subject acquisition and improved subject tracking performance. This is crucial when shooting erratic or fast-moving subjects like wildlife, sports, or even active children and pets. The camera's eye and face detection autofocus capabilities may also see enhancements, with improved accuracy and sensitivity. For portrait photographers, precise eye autofocus is invaluable. Ensuring tack-sharp focus on the subject's eyes, even in challenging lighting conditions or when the subject is moving. Improvements in this area could result in more keepers and less time spent manually adjusting focus in post-production. One of the most exciting rumored upgrades is the improved 5-axis in-body image stabilization. The Z63 is said to inherit the same powerful IBIS unit found in Nikon's flagship Z9 camera, which is rated for up to 8 stops of stabilization. This is exceptional for a camera in this class and could provide a significant advantage over competitors. Increased stabilization means sharper handheld images and the ability to use slower shutter speeds in low light without introducing camera shake blur. This feature could be a game-changer for photographers who often shoot in challenging lighting conditions, such as dimly lit events or astrophotography, or those who prefer to work without a tripod. While many features are rumored to be upgraded, some key specs may remain similar to previous Z6 models. The image sensor resolution is expected to stay around 24 to 25 megapixels, providing ample detail for most photographers, including those who shoot for large prints or crop heavily in post-production. According to unconfirmed reports, the EOS R3 Mark II will boast a staggering 60MP sensor, a significant upgrade from its predecessor's 24.1MP. This leap in resolution promises to capture breathtaking details, making it an ideal choice for sports, wildlife, and landscape photographers who demand nothing less than perfection. Rumors suggest the new sensor will feature a cutting-edge backside illuminated design and Canon's latest dual-pixel CMOS AF technology for unparalleled focusing performance. The autofocus system is rumored to be a game-changer, incorporating a revolutionary AI-powered subject recognition system that can accurately track and focus on even the most erratic and fast-moving subjects with unprecedented precision. Leveraging deep learning algorithms, the camera is said to be capable of identifying and tracking multiple subjects simultaneously, including athletes, vehicles, and wildlife, with an accuracy that has never been seen before. 
Rumors also suggest that Canon has pushed the boundaries of video capabilities, with the EOS R3 Mark II capable of recording 8K video at up to 60 frames per second, and 4K video at a blistering 120 frames per second for buttery smooth slow motion footage. The camera is expected to feature advanced video processing and coding algorithms, allowing for high-quality video capture with minimal rolling shutter and noir artifacts. Furthermore, the EOS R3 Mark II is rumored to feature a revolutionary electronic viewfinder, EVF, with a staggering 9.44 million dot resolution and a refresh rate of up to 240Hz, ensuring a smooth and lag-free viewing experience, even when tracking the most rapidly moving subjects. Rumors also indicate that the EOS R3 Mark II will boast a robust and weather-sealed magnesium alloy body, designed to withstand even the harshest environments, making it an ideal companion for adventure and wildlife photographers. The camera is also expected to feature significant improvements in its connectivity options, with built-in 5G and Wi-Fi 6 support, allowing for seamless file transfers and remote control capabilities. Additionally, the EOS R3 Mark II is rumored to feature a brand new menu system and user interface, designed to provide a more intuitive and streamlined experience for professional photographers. But that's not all, the EOS R3 Mark II is expected to feature a mind-blowing burst rate of up to 30 frames per second with full autofocus and auto-exposure capabilities, ensuring that not a single moment is missed, no matter how fleeting. This blistering speed is rumored to be complemented by a vast buffer capacity and lightning-fast data transfer rates, thanks to the integration of cutting-edge CFexpress memory card slots. The upcoming Nikon Z73 will be the successor to the very successful current model, the Z72. We expect the Z73 to feature a brand new sensor with around 60 megapixels. This would put it in competition with high-resolution cameras like the Sony A7R V and the rumored Canon R5 Mark II. With the recent release of the flagship Nikon Z8, it's clear that Nikon wants to push boundaries. However, the Z73 and Z8 will likely serve different purposes. The Z8 seems aimed at action and sports photography, while the Z73 is expected to cater more towards landscape and studio photography needs with its high megapixel count. So while they'll be in Nikon's top lineup, the Z73 and Z8 will be distinct cameras intended for different photographic disciplines. If you're into shooting cinematic quality videos for the big screen, the Nikon Z73 could be a great tool. It's expected to be capable of recording 4K videos at up to 60 frames per second, allowing you to slow down the footage while maintaining that high resolution. For high-quality slow motion capture, you'll likely have the option to shoot Full HD 1080p, video at 120 frames per second. This would enable slowing down the action by up to 5 times. However, it's unlikely that Nikon will include 4K recording at 120fps, as that could make the Z7 III too similar to their current flagship, the Z8 camera, diminishing its uniqueness. Overall, the video specs of the Z7 III are not expected to change significantly compared to its predecessor, the Z7 II. The Z7 II's autofocus isn't ideal for action photography, so major upgrades aren't expected on the Z7 III to avoid overlapping with Nikon's flagship Z8. However, the Z73 should enhance subject detection for people, animals, birds, vehicles etc. regardless of size. Some autofocus improvements are likely to keep it competitive with Canon and Sony. For burst shooting, expect around 10 FPS like the Z72 and Sony A7RV, as going faster could make it too similar to the 20 FPS SAT. The increased resolution may reduce buffer capacity, but Dual X7 processors and CFexpress support could help offset this limitation. Our assumption is that the Z8 is what people were expecting to be the Z7 III. The Z8 debuted at $4,000, and it's likely that discounts including refurbished models will start soon, certainly by 2024 as it did not happen in the 2023 holiday season. It would be difficult for Nikon to introduce another camera, the Z7 III, 
at around $3,000 or slightly higher due to the pricing overlap with the Z8. It's very likely that Nikon will consolidate their lineup, and the Z7 series could be squeezed out. At the height of the DSLR boom around 2014, Nikon had a maximum of five full-frame DSLR models. Considering all this, it may be risky to wait for a potential Z7 III that may never happen. The Z8 could be the replacement for that line. It's quite possible that the FX32 and a theoretical A7S4 would share similar internal architectures, given how closely aligned the original FX3 and FX6 were to the A7S3 in terms of imaging capabilities. This raises the question of whether Sony will choose to continue the dedicated A7S line for video-focused alpha cameras or consolidate it under Thermore Hybrid FX3 product family. Adding an extra layer of intrigue are murmurs from China that the FX32 could feature a 12MP global shutter sensor. While this sounds far-fetched on the surface, Sony has clearly prioritized global shutter technology, so such an implementation is not entirely out of the realm of possibility, despite being difficult to predict with any certainty based on unreliable rumor sources. The highly anticipated Sony FX32 might be with us as early as March 2024, and a rumor suggests that it might replace not one but two cameras. To streamline its products there is a chance that Sony will not only have the FX32 supersede the Sony FX3, but have it replace the need for an A7S4. Released in October 2020, the A7S3 is the oldest category flagship model in the Sony camera lineup. The video-focused Alpha series camera is well overdue an upgrade, but a wild rumor suggests that it might never get one. With the success of the original FX3 and the anticipated success of the FX32, Sony is being faced with a tough decision as to whether it should continue both lines or merge them. Comparing the A7S3 and FX3 side by side there is very little that sets them apart. They have the same 12MP full-frame, BSI CMOS sensor, the same Bions XR processor, 5.5 stops of image stabilization, 759 autofocus points, a fully articulated screen, a continuous drive mode of 10 FPS, the ability to shoot 4K at 120p and dual US 2SD CF Express type of slots. The biggest difference is the look of the cameras, while the A7S 3 features an electronic viewfinder, the FX3 doesn't. Instead, Sony opted to design a smaller, lighter camera under the assumption that most serious videographers would use an external monitor anyway. For those who prefer a bigger grip, larger body and the ability to shoot with an electronic viewfinder, the end of the A7S lineup will surely be a tough one. First launched in June 2014, the A7S series revolutionized compact, full-frame video cameras, offering videographers unrivaled video capabilities in the same body as the existing alpha cameras. It completed the trio of available camera lines, with the main A7 range offering hybrid video and photo capabilities, the A7R focusing on resolution and the S focusing on video and sensitivity. And finally, we have the Nikon Z52, the successor to the original groundbreaking Z50 APS-C mirrorless camera that faces high expectations after Nikon took feedback on the first model seriously through substantial firmware updates addressing earlier criticisms. Thankfully, rumors suggest the Z52 will bring major improvements like an overhauled autofocus system with enhanced subject tracking and eye face detection capabilities to elevate its performance for both photography and video. Also, the Z52 is tipped to see significant upgrades with higher 4K bitrates and improved internal image stabilization to cater to videographers and content creators, unlike the more photo-focused original. Other potential updates include a VARI angle touchscreen, dual US 2 SD card slots, wireless connectivity, and improved battery life. While speculative, a Z52 refresh seems likely as Nikon looks to keep their APS-C mirrorless lineup competitive, especially with the ongoing lack of clarity around the role of models like the retro-styled ZFC. For those committed to Nikon's DXZ mount system, 
the Z52 presents an exciting prospect to potentially deliver meaningful upgrades in autofocus, video capabilities, ergonomics and overall versatility as both a photography and video tool in a portable APS-C body, addressing many of the wishlists and critiques of the original Z50 based on years of user feedback. The mirrorless future is almost here, ushered in by Canon, Nikon, and Sony's hotly anticipated flagships. Get ready to push your artistic limits with these legendary imaging forces.